Hey, greetings. Welcome back to Sean's Irish Whiskey Shelf. This evening, I'm adding two new bottles of whiskey to the shelves. And as always, I'm going to share them with you before I add them. So let's talk about what we're adding tonight. First one is Redbreast PX. The second one is Jameson Crested. Uh, now, Redbreast PX, let's start with that. So a lot of Irish whiskey fans know about Redbreast. Heck, even if you don't know about Irish whiskey a lot, Redbreast is one of those gold standards of Irish whiskey. Well, the, uh, the folks up at Middleton Distillery that bakes Redbreast made a limited edition version of their Redbreast called Redbreast PX. This particular whiskey was finished in Pedro Jimenez uh, sherry butts or casks, or as they put on here, hogsheads, right? So uh, about two years of finishing after the whiskey itself is distilled and aged. Now, I couldn't find any age statements on this particular bottle of whiskey. Uh, I found one website that claimed it was matured for about 20 years. Couldn't find anything else that had any sort of description on how long this has been aged. So uh, I'm not gonna validate that it's 20 years. Uh, it is, uh, let me see, I had it right here for you folks. Here we go, 46% alcohol by volume. So that's gonna be 92 proof. And it's supposedly because it was matured in those sherry hogs heads, it's supposed to have kind of a sweeter finish to it. Uh, let me see here, I'm gonna read it right to you. Uh, the taste should be a zesty, syrupy mouthful with the perfect balance of fruits, spice, and toasted notes. So we're going to find out here in just a few minutes how that works out. Jameson Crested. So everybody knows Jameson. Come on, if, if, if you've been anywhere where they sell Irish whiskey, Unless you are blind or living under a rock or whatever your excuse may be, you gotta know Jameson's. It's the biggest, most widely distributed Irish whiskey in the world, by far. Well, um, back in the day, they had a Crested 10. And Jameson decided to make or take the Crested 10 label away and they made this Jameson Crested. Uh, this is celebrating their first Irish whiskey that came out of their Bow Street distillery. So it's supposed to be a little nicer, a little more refined, if you will, than the regular Jameson. Uh, this is not a single pot still like Redbreast. This is going to be a blend. However, from what I can tell, it is primarily a single pot still, and it does have a little bit of sherry matured whiskey in there. So this is supposed to have a little bit of a sweet taste to it as well. Uh, this is only 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. So we're going to give this a, give this a spin and, and see how it goes. Okay. So first up, since I couldn't find an age statement on the Redbreast PX, uh, I decided to go with the Redbreast 12 as my baseline, mostly because Redbreast 12 is going to be what a lot of people have the easiest uh, chore or easiest ability to find. And I want to use that as, as the baseline to compare the PX. So let's get to it. Redbreast 12. Sure, I won't be disappointed in this. And of course not. Redbreast 12 is still one of the gold standards. As always, your mileage may vary. I like to say that you may not like Redbreast as much as others, but I tend to like Redbreast. I think it's a it's a darn fine drop of Irish whiskey. All right, so now that we have that, let's give Redbreast PX a try. Uh, see if we can get that sweetness that, uh, that they say it should have. Good nose to it. A 
yeah, it's there. <clears throat> okay, so since this is coming in at 92 proof, and this is only at 80 proof, you're going to get a little bit more of that alcohol burn. That's to be expected. But I can definitely tell, even with my palate being the non-nuanced, non-super, you know, can tell all the different notes kind of palate, um, I can tell that that's got a little bit sweeter of a taste to it. Um, it's definitely uh, a bit of a, a sweeter drop than, than a regular red breast. If you are trying to stay away from the super burn type of whiskey, then you're probably not going to like PX because it will give you that alcohol burn. You're going to know that you're drinking a 92 proof. If that doesn't bother you and you want something that has a lot of flavor, a lot of body to it, uh, Redbreast PX, if you can find it, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. That's uh, that's a really, really good drop of whiskey. Um, so uh, it is getting tough to find, though, right? You are going to be very hard-pressed to find this on shelves. Uh, it's it, it was a limited edition release. They're not making any more of it. So it might be a, a unicorn if you do happen to find it. So expect to pay mid to upper 100s for it, maybe more, depending on how much the, the retailer is going to mark it up. Um, yeah, I think we'll, uh, in a future show, maybe we'll put it up against 15 or 21, just kind of see where, where it falls in there. But definitely not disappointed. I, I think that's a, a really fine drop of whiskey. Um, and as always, if you like what you're watching here, give me a thumbs up or, have, you know, even consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'd love to have your feedback. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So please consider uh, clicking the thumbs up and clicking the subscribe button. All right, let's move on to Jameson. Now, again, as I mentioned at the outset of the show, uh, Jameson is by far the biggest Irish whiskey distributor. Um, if you go back to one of my earlier shows, we compared Jameson to Proper Number 12, Bush White, and uh, Tullamore Dew. And Jameson didn't fare very well uh, against Bush White and Tullamore Dew. I'm not saying it's a bad whiskey. I'm just saying that there are better options out there for an entry level, everyday kind of sip of whiskey. You know, um, I'm a Tullamore Dew guy. I, I just think that's the the best of, of the everydays out there. Not a lot of money, and I can just enjoy that. I could enjoy that any night of the week. Um, heck, I even have. There you go. <laughs> Tullamore Dew. That's to restock my decanter. So. Yeah, I've got some Tullamore Dew, folks. <clears throat> but, Jameson. So let's get our baseline here of the, of the regular Jameson. Yeah, it's about what I expected. Or remembered. Not a lot of body. Um, it's, it's Jameson Irish Whiskey. If you're just looking for an inexpensive Irish whiskey, then your palate really doesn't know a whole lot of anything, then you can't go wrong with Jameson. If you want to try something a little bit better for your everyday, absolutely look at Bush White or Tullamore Dew. That said, Jameson Crested, all right? This wasn't that expensive. Uh, I paid around 30 bucks for Jameson for this bottle of Jameson Crested. You'd find the regular Jameson around here for the mid low low to mid 20s. So, yeah, no, it's not hateful. Let's see how the taste stacks up though to regular Jameson. Maybe this could be a, a decent everyday whiskey for a couple extra bucks, right? Let's see. And remember. This is mostly single pot still. 
it, it is a blend, but the vast majority of this blend is single pot still. And it does have a little bit of sherry matured whiskey in there as well. So let's see what we got. All right, now that's not too shabby. It is certainly better than this Jameson, your, your run of the mill standard Jameson. And as you bring it up, again, my nose is not one of these that can go, mm, I smell bread and I smell chocolate and I smell berries. I can't do that, but I can tell you, this has a sweet smell to it. I dare say, that this actually has a little bit sweeter nose to it than this does. I get a lot of the alcohol in this one when I bring it to the nose. This one, because it's only 80 proof, I'm not getting that alcohol burn. I'm not getting that alcohol nose. And, and the, the sweetness of this really does come out. And it's not masked by, by you know, a stronger alcohol. Had to try once more. There's no competition. None whatsoever. Uh, if I was given these two and only these two and had to pick one, yeah, whatever. It's going to be Jameson Creston, right? Uh, it's... Again, I, I think I'm more of a single pot still guy than anything else. And, you know, maybe that is a little bit of a bias, just knowing that. But my taste buds are telling me that this is not a terrible drop of whiskey. Um, I have not seen it on the shelf anywhere. That doesn't mean it can't be found. It's just I live in a state that's a little bit restricted on what they can carry on the shelves. But... It's not obscenely priced. So I would recommend if you're a Jameson fan and you want to kind of branch out a little bit, maybe pick up a Jameson Crested. You're not going to break the bank on it and you might end up liking it better than regular Jameson. Don't know. Uh, in fact, even though it's got that little bit of a sweeter taste, I think uh, we're going to put Jameson Crested back up against Tullamore Dew and Bush White, maybe. See how that kind of plays out. Um, don't know that even if I like it better, don't know that I'll drink it every day, because at least with Tullamore Dew, I can get a, a bigger bottle of it, uh, a 175. But I might like it better. We'll have to find out. And of course, we'll take the Red Breast PX and we'll match it up with... Uh, maybe the Red Breast 15 or Red Breast 21. Uh, I might even do the Red Spot. Uh, Red Spot 15 is supposed to have a little bit more of that floral note, so uh, or sweet note. So maybe we'll throw that up against the Red Breast PX2 and see how that works out. So anyway, that is all I have for you this evening. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. Like I said earlier, your palate may vary, your mileage may vary, and you may like or dislike the, the things that I have presented for you here. I always love to hear what you're drinking out there, and I love to hear your comments about you know, what you think of Redbreast PX or what you think of Jameson Crested or anything else that we've had on Sean's Irish Whiskey Shelf. I love to hear from you. love to hear your comments. I answer every single one of them. So... Please check me out on Facebook. If you happen to use that platform, look up Sean's Irish Whiskey Shelf. Uh, and as always, I'm going to put in my plug for my favorite Irish whiskey Facebook page, which is Irish Whiskey Fans of America. I'm there almost every day seeing what folks are posting and uh, just a wealth of information. So please check them out too if you happen to like Irish whiskey. Uh, next video... Again, you know, I've been wanting to do strictly a single pot still video. Um, I'm having a little hard time with that because the majority of what's on the shelves behind me here is either blends 
or single pot still. So trying to narrow down, I mean, heck, red breast. Every single red breast is a single pot still. Yeah, so I'm kind of having trouble narrowing it down. So do the best I can, right? Um, but we'll either do a single pot still video or I do have two more bottles coming. I'm, I was hoping that they'd be here this week, maybe next week. So we might do another two new bottles video instead. But again, if you're a subscriber, you'll know exactly when I post them. So check it out, right? So until we meet again, uh, I'd like all of you to enjoy your Irish whiskey. Enjoy it as much as you can, whichever brand you happen to like. But remember, I want you to be responsible when you drink it, right? I want you to, to enjoy it, but be able to be here for the next time you want to enjoy it, right? I want you to be well. I want you to be safe. And I will see you on the next video. Sláinte. Bye now.